Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Electro Study. This is lecture series 1 under introduction to IoT, dealing with a basic introduction of what IoT is and basic introduction of what networking is. Come let's go into the video. Please do like, share, subscribe and comment. So these are the possible learnings that you can take out from this lecture series introduction to IoT. So first you will be seeing the evolution of you will be understanding about the evolution of IoT, networking components of IoT and addressing strategies in IoT. And the second possible learning will be you will be dealing with various sensing devices and actuator types. Third learning possible learning is the processing, what all the processing available in the IoT. Fourth learning is, it is associated with many technologies that is used in IoT. And finally, the fifth possible learning is about the architecture of complete IoT application. Now, we need to understand what is IoT. So, the complete world is now into IoT. So what is IoT? IoT is nothing but it is internet of things that is it is a thing where it is embedded with hell number of things that is software, hardware, hardware consists of electrical, electronics, networks, sensors, actuators etc. So all these hardware combined to, into a software to make the software makes the hardware work and n number of people can access everything. So, it, you can tell that in a different way like it allows collection and exchange of data. You can play with data, collections of information. So, what is the goal of the IoT? So, this IoT based on the internet connectivity, it helps in connecting different people at different areas with a common server. Right. So, you can tell IoT as a smart. It is very smart application. How you can tell that it is smart? By improving the aspects of our life. It improves each and every day of our life based on some technology it is growing. See we use AI algorithms, we use data collection to maintain the database and we use different networks to connect all the collection of data in one place. So this is a, the, the complete process which we are seeing in daily life is nothing but IoT. Right. So what is networking under iot so just a small introduction i'll give you about this the data and the information collected together say some applications like from agriculture from the base application that is from agriculture to all the military applications and operation all depends only on information only when there is information you can cultivate see in agriculture if there is information what people requires then only farmer knows how to what to be cultivate cultivated right so the same way in military operation what information does the uh, india par, uh, india pakistan border requires military people requires based on that their action is right so in information is a must for playing with data and information in a network so in present day operation Various organizations are focusing on the speed and nature of information. It is very crucial. The speed and the nature of information becomes crucial because even a small delay in speed or small nature of information is wrong, the complete application goes wrong. Right. So it is very crucial. So in today's world, complete world relies on networking and data collection. So based on that, it allows for instant availability of information where and when required, right? So networking is nothing but it is linking of computers. So to share information, gather information, you need some device. Say suppose we are using PCs, personal computers. So if you are using mobile phones, you are sitting at one end and you can chat with the other with your friend at the other end. How? It is done using networking. So, this network will have a device called as host. It is not like a device. It is a node where it is specified as 
host that is through which each and every person from different world can communicate so this host will be interconnected through a network so this is a pc this is a host and from this host it is connected to the other pc so there is a network between the host and the pc right and you will have a unique device identifier that is for each and every messages or each and every device what you use you have a number for it so that people can trace who is communicating to whom so there are different protocol set of rules to follow all those interaction between different areas so here host is nothing but it is it is a single path or a multiple path which is used for sending and receiving data as i told so this will be a host the line this will be a host one uh, one and people will be sitting at one end another people will be sitting at the other end to receive and send data there is a connection is formed that is known as the host and the data can be transferred what kind of data can be transferred that is sent and received by the uh, client or the server it can, it may be a text it may be a images or it may be a videos so this networks it is divided into different types based on these parameters types of connection physical topology and reach of the network so these three based on uh, the requirements it is divided into these kinds so connection type so connection type deals with two type point to point and point to multi point so point to point as the diagram tells see you have one host and another host point to point link direct connection so this point to point network is referred as direct connection there is no in between server that is connected it is directly interacting so the remote control say for example for, uh, the example for point to point network is a remote control for an ac or a remote control for a television there is no sensor or nothing see there is no in between any host interacting as soon as uh, the sensor is on in your remote and uh, the it is interacting with the main ac device the remote and the ac device keep interacting directly right so these kind of network it is designed to work over on duplex link it can send and receive data at both the time and it is synchronized with a particular time also say suppose an information has to be sent in 10, 10 milliseconds so it is synchronized with the time su such that it is maintaining that 10 milliseconds such that the data are received at the other end and so this point to point connection it is mainly used in optical networks right and point to multi point connection so here point to multi point is this is one point it is connected to multiple point so more than two host not only direct connection it has two or more host to share the information say for example you can tell one to many connection one to many connection right so point to multi point connection find a popular uh, use in wireless network it is not wired you can sit at one end and wirelessly communicate with other right so wireless networks it wireless networks it will be commonly used point to uh, multi point networks and the channel is shared between various host it is not that it is particularly to one host it it is shared with many host and each each of the approaches has various screens and protocols to be followed to communicate with each other right and next is you have a physical topology to be studied so these are the four topologies that is followed by different networks network select different topologies to communicate so bus star mesh ring all these there are another uh, types also tree and hybrid so you can see uh, 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 this is the central hub which is connected with different nodes so these nodes are connecting with the central hub and it is communicating likewise this topology works so star topology so star topology topology is nothing but it is a point to point link it it first interacts this host first interacts with the central hub and the central hub gives information to the other host this is how a star topology works and this why we choose star topology is it is very cheaper and the maintenance of the star topology is very easy and it is very easy to set up 
so we use star topology and the host cannot communicate with any other device directly only with the central hub it can communicate it cannot do direct communication and here the central hub will act as the network traffic exchange so if the central hub is responsible for seeing that not only one host is overloaded with traffic each and every host is shared with data such that there is no traffic occurring in between the host so the main advantages of star uh, choosing star topology is as i told it is easy to set up and fault identification is very easy in this and disadvantages of this topology is if one point fails if suppose the central hub to this host if it fails the complete uh, topology is a breakdown so that is the disadvantage next is mesh so mesh is nothing but each and every host will be connected to each and every different nodes so in mesh topology all the host will be interacting with all the host right so there will be massive number of links created between different nodes so the uh, best advantages that you can see in this mesh topology is it is robust even if a link is down say suppose this to this link is down you can follow some other path to reach the message to a particular node okay and obviously the pri uh, security and privacy of the traffic of the data is completely maintained and uh, there is a reduced data load on single host because it is taking different paths to communicate and finally it uh, you you can tell that this mesh topology forms the backbone network because it can communicate to n number of nodes from n number of nodes so this becomes a backbone network next you will be seeing about bus topology bus topology is nothing but point to point point to multi point see from one point it is connected to different nodes right so point to multi point connection this is also see uh, it primarily takes the traffic pathway that is uh, between each node it judges what is the traffic and based on that it keeps on dropping the lines right and the advantages of this uh, bus topology is it is easy to install however you have one restriction that is the length of the cable if you keep on inserting a host so that is a host or node to the line the cable length will keep on increasing which which you will have losses obviously there will be losses in cables so that is an uh, uh, disadvantage but advantages is easy to set up and the cabling also it is very simple it is not complicated and uh, another one main drawback of this topology is it is difficult to find a fault if there is a fault occurring in this particular node it is difficult because many datas are passing through this cable so it it will be difficult for us to find the where the in where in in which network the fault is located next is ring topology so ring topology it works on the principle of point to point connection that is this ring it forms a ring shape from here data will be transferred to here if suppose this is the starting node and ending node this is the ending node either you have to transfer like this or you have to go through like this so point to point so each of the host will be dedicated to one one connection and based on repeaters it forms a symbol of a ring here the fault identification and the setup of the complete topology is simple and only one disadvantage as you can see in this ring topology that there will be a high chance of failure if suppose this fails then you cannot send data through this pathway complete host will get it will be failed so these are the comparison between different network topology star mesh bus and ring you can see what all the features it uh, this topology uses and what is the advantages and disadvantages of using the different topology and be, uh, based on this comparison you can come out with which between these topologies which topology is best to use in iot application using uh, uh, when you are using networking models hope you have understood this in introduction part stay tuned for other lecture series where complete introduction of iot will be explained thank you stay tuned